Hi friends, let me first introduce to you with myself. My common name is China of Anchinalis and Peruvian Bark. I belong to the family of Ruby AC and my proper name is Dr. Samuel Hanimanan. I have broken down constitution from exhausting discharge and loss of vital fluid. Few year back, I am robust, strong and healthy, but after loss of vital fluid, I am become weak. I have nervous temperament, my miasma is sore, I have hemorrhagic diastasis and I am a chilly patient. Because of hemorrhagic diastasis, I am disposed to hemorrhage from every orifice of the body with ringing in ears, fainting, loss of sight, general coldness and sometimes convulsions is also happen with me. I have pain growing or tearing like in every joints i feel as if strained sore all over in all my bones due to which i am obliged to move my limbs frequently as motion gives me relief renew it by contact and then gradually increase to a great height my pains are aggravated by slightest touch but i get relief by heart pressure Due to periodicity which is very well marked in me I have intermediate fever which is written every 7 or 14th day but never occur at night I sweat profusely all over on being covered or during sleep I have unrefreshing sleep which aggravated at 3 am which wakes wakes me early I love to have sour things but I have aggravation from eating fruits which gives me excessive flatulence of stomach and bowel and bulging give me no relief After hemorrhage or sexual excess I have headache as if skull would burst I have thrombing headache which start from occiput all over the whole head which is aggravated by sitting or lying i have to stand or walk for relief in my headache i have pale face hypocrited eyes are sunken and surrounded by blue margins i have pale sickly expression as after excesses i am apathetic indifferent gloomy ill humored and despondent i have no desire to live but lack courage to commit suicide great ability trembling aversion to exercise sensitive to touch to pain to draft of air entire nervous system is extremely sensitive i have one hand icy cold and others is warm some important points of china is china is suited to both acute and chronic diarrhea the prolonged long standing chronic diarrhea cause the patient to be broken down and pumped out debilitated and non recognizable diarrhea persists only at night and it usually due to by taking fruits the second point is china is one of the best remedy in chronic liver troubles there is pain in right hypochondrium and often liver may be left below the ribs in large hard and sensitive to touch the skin is yellow urine dark color is too light lacking the color due to improper secretion of bile in female china is given when first menses is too early profuse with pain and too long lasting dark clotted blood and parts very sensitive to slightest touch but relieved by hard pressure and in case of china's female leucorrhea in places of menses overitis from sexual excess anemia may also be present insomnia after hemorrhage vertigo and menstrual colic are present along with this there may also be ringing in ears china is also given in respiratory system when there is hoarseness of voice suffocation and suffocated catarrh influenza with debility there is rattling in the chest with violent hacking cough after every meal hemoptysis may be present edema of glottitis and dyspnea may be of regular and frequent occurrence cough is a constant factor which is excited by talking and laughing the aggravation of china from slightest touch 
drought of air every other day loss of vital fluid at night after eating and bending over and it get relieved by bending double heart pressure open air and warmth and now we can we going to talk about the relation of china it is complementary to ferromet antidoted to hypersulf nux vomica and antidoted by natrum mure and carbobatch thank you